Hello, everyone. Um, here come my uh, weather videos because <laughs> here in Wisconsin, we are starting to change weather. Our summer was, <laughs> I don't know where it went. <laughs> But it's getting a little bit colder, a little bit wetter. We're going into fall. Um, so it's, it's going to get uh, a little challenging for, for wheelchairs. Um, so I just wanted to talk about things that I use when it starts to get, you know, cold and wet. Uh, it's, you know, it's, it's harder to... Um, you know, do what you need to do in your wheelchair. So uh, here what I do is when it starts to get that windy, wet thing um, going, <laughs> um, I have some other gloves, but, but these will be good as an example. I use um, uh, biking gloves. So, oh, what happened to me? Oh, there we go. <laughs> So I use biking gloves, and these are rubberized on the other side. So, uh, so you can look up some good biking gloves if you, if you don't have some, and they're very, very useful, and, and make sure they're rubberized on the other side. So for fall, these are, these are pretty good um, because I don't need to, um, you know, the, the heavy-duty ones, uh, mittens that I use, I don't need those yet. Um, sometimes I use these with the short fingers uh, because I can't tell if it's going to be cold or not cold. I don't know. <laughs> so I use these, and the, this company is not um, paying me for any of its advertisement. If you see its name there, uh, it's can't even read it. <laughs> HD two P L O O, <laughs> whatever that sounds like. <laughs> So rubberized on one side and, you know, it's airy on the other. So it just helps me keep my hands a little warm. Um, yeah, these are just soft ones. The, these are other just soft ones that I use. But if you have a, a manual wheelchair, you're going to want it rubberized on, on one side and the other. These are just warmer gloves that I use when it starts to get chilly and I have to go out. Um, you can use a hat if you want. Uh, it it just bugs me a little bit when I wear a hat. I have cochlear implants, so those work a little bit like hearing aids. So anything rubbing against my <laughs> my cochlear implants bugs me. So I just keep the hat off. Um, I do have a poncho in the back in in my pouch here, so that. Uh, if it starts to rain out of the blue, then I can grab that, put it on. And the poncho itself protects my joystick. So um, the, you want to protect the joystick. It's not waterproof. So if, if you're in a power wheelchair, you want to protect it. And the poncho that you're wearing will help do that. So you just uh, throw you know, part of the poncho um, on top of the, the joystick, and that will help keep it dry. Um, for manual wheelchairs, it's a little bit trickier because they're closer to the wetness. So uh, the, the fenders on the sides, the clothing guard, that will help, you know, not splash water all over them. <laughs> so, <laughs> so that's good. And I'm sure um, manual wheelchair users already have their special techniques to keep uh, their hands and the rest of their body dry. Um, sometimes I use, depends on the temperature. I'll use a stadium blanket that I've so shown in other videos. Um, sometimes I will use, um, I use a poncho, believe it or not. I have a, a warm poncho that I use. In For the most part, that's what I've been using. It's more practical. I just make sure it's tucked in and it won't get caught in the wheels. I use a warm poncho when it starts to get colder, um, and that has, has been great. Uh, it, it does. I'll put the, let me see if I can get the um, brand and the type of poncho it is. Hold on. So let me see if I can show it off here.
better on three. All right, so that poncho, believe it or not, it's water resistant. It's not waterproof, but it's water resistant. So if it's raining a little bit, you know, I know I'll be okay. If I'm if it's snowing, I know I'll be okay because it I haven't gotten wet. But it's a very warm poncho, and the back is a little shorter than the front, and that's on purpose so that we don't end up sitting on part of the poncho and feel uncomfortable. So the back is 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 shorter. <laughs> that's the way they designed it. It was made in China, so uh, but it is very warm and it's got a very warm hood on it. So that's what I've been using, and it just saves me a lot of grief instead of a jacket um, and then having to put something over my legs, all that kind of jazz. This poncho covers my legs, so it's, it's not a big deal. So I have it in a backpack. I have a weather backpack, <laughs> so everything is in there, and uh, I just pull out what I need. Right now I have a... a a waterproof poncho in the in my pouch in the back so uh but soon i'll be taking that one out because you know i know the temperatures here at the end of september no at the end of august mid-september maybe the temperatures start to get cold and i'll switch over to the warm poncho so uh i just put it on and and then i take it off uh, when I get to my destination, but um, that's what I use, and it's been fantastic. So it's been awesome. So again, it's it's water resistant, not waterproof, uh, but it works. I just you know, my shoulders are not in great shape, so if I try to put on a a jacket, you know, I really hurt myself trying to do that. So the poncho for me is much easier in trying to zip myself up and all that kind of stuff. This, I just throw it on, and I'm done. So um, so for now, those are my recommendations for the fall. And uh, you want to be careful where you're going uh, with your wheelchair. Pay attention to the leaves and that kind of stuff, because it could, it could, you could go into a hole. <laughs> so <laughs> sometimes the, the holes get filled up with water and then leaves on top, and you don't know you're going into a hole. So you got to be careful with, with a little mound of leaves. You want to go around it instead of trying to go in it or over it. So that is my recommendation for fall right now. We won't talk about winter. Winter is a whole different animal for wheelchair users, and um, we'll go into the details of that later. So this is just fall. Um, so just uh, hold your horses there. I do have some videos on winter, but they were my like my first video, so the sound is not it's not great. But uh, you can still see me <laughs> and see the little mittens that I showed here. <laughs> so <laughs> so um, we'll leave it at that. And if you have any questions about fall. Uh, just know that if fall is getting very cold where you live, uh, know that your batteries for your power wheelchair might not uh, last as long, so you want to you wanna just be mindful of that. Uh, for manual wheelchairs, you want to make sure that you have your hands covered, uh, even though they feel like, you know, your hands are very warm, but make sure your, ha your hands are covered with something that's a little bit longer and um, here I have these. These I used when I had my manual wheelchair because they're rubberized on one side. So, and you know, they're not warm, warm. They, they just kind of kept me, you know, going until I got my destination. So, uh, and, and they just covered me at least uh, so that I, my fingers didn't freeze because <laughs> my fingers would get really cold as I was propelling, so. Um, so that's all I had to say for now, and also you could use one of these, uh, but, <laughs> but you saw those already. So anyway, that is fall, and uh, techniques for winter will be completely different. So thank you so much for coming, and uh, I don't want to make this too long, but thank you for coming, spending a few minutes here with me, and I'll see you in the next one. <laughs>